some members of the MK party are complaining and they want some sort of a general meeting or conference because they are saying, no, uh, MK party does not have a right to call the people or to bring in the people that they are bringing. So in other words, they are saying uh, it's us who uh, were campaigning for MK party. Now, I'm going to tell you about the danger of this. There's, there's serious danger in this type of thinking. It is very serious. But again, I'll tell you something. Where it, look, where it is borrowed from. In fact, I'll show you the leader of this type of sentiment. The sentiment goes along this way that Jacob Zuma is killing the MK party. He's bringing his friends. He's bringing his alliance. Um, he doesn't care about the people who, who look, campaigned for the party, who took the party from where it was and put it at the place where it is. He doesn't care about those people. Because of that, he's killing the political party. That is what they are saying. But wait. Wait. Calm down. Where is it coming from? Well, it's very easy to trace this thinking. And then if you trace this thinking, you find you will easily locate the leader of this thinking. And guess what? Coincidentally, the leader of this thinking is none other than Chablan Kumar. Now, when he did that, in, look, one of the interview, uh, I don't know that media house ne? or that channel, I forgot the name of the channel. He said the following. Jacob Zuma he look, he's destroying the party by bringing these people into the political party, into his political party. And the people that are, that are being brought there, it's not because Jacob Zuma really want to bring them. It is because the daughter, being Tutuzile Zuma, is the one that is killing the, uh, the, the party. Those are the allegations coming from none other than Chablan Kumalo. So, when you hear the word, uh, look, the people who are serving in these structures, uh, they, um, they, are, they are not supposed to be there. First of all, we campaigned for this party. They were not there. You know what I'm saying? I want to ask you a question. So, I want you to, while you are thinking about what they are saying, there's nothing wrong in terms of you entertaining that type of thinking. There's nothing wrong. But again, when you look at it, you must be objective enough to, to, look, to dissect everything and look at the facts and be able to say, wait a minute. If we follow this, we are going to take somebody who doesn't even understand politics to begin with and ask that person to go and serve in parliament. What are we going... Okay, wait, let me cool down. Do you think that taking this person who doesn't have the necessary experience, doesn't understand what is going on in parliament, just because they were busy campaigning and then you bring them in and then you make them leaders, then they are your leaders. But they are clueless leaders. Because they serve the political party, because they campaign for the political party, they deserve the position. Isn't it the fastest way to kill the political party? Hold on. Pause right there. While you are posing right there, this is what you should be doing here. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay 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 so what i want us to do is this following one i mean is the following one so you already located the owner of this thinking it comes from jablan kumar then you must ask yourself a question the advocates of that type of thinking, ways, look, who are they? Are they belonging to the, look, the Zuma camp or they belong to Chablan Kumalo? Because 
From what I have heard, it is alleged that the 18 people that were fired by MK Party from Parliament, they belong to Jablan Kumalo. Did I hear that? Did I, did I hear that? In other words, they are the, uh, they are an ally to Jablan Kumal. So at this moment, do I trust anything that comes from Jablan Kumal? To be quite honest and friendly, huh, I don't, unfortunately. How? Okay. The thing is, maybe he's got a point, maybe he doesn't have a point in how he thinks. That the people, because I heard it from Jablan Kumar saying, the people who campaign are the people who must be in parliament. I said, hmm, tell me something. In any organization, any organization, any company, tell me something. Have you ever seen people putting people in crucial places, people who are unexperienced, inexperienced, just because, you know, you've been a cleaner in this company for 10 years, I, we must give you the position of a CEO. Does it work like that in the real world? Oh, okay. Let me say this way. Just because you are my child, uh, me and my wife, we get back to, we gave back to you. You are, you are our child. Hi, hi. We will make you look. You are, we are talking about a 10-year-old. Hi, yeah. You will make decisions for this house just because you are our child. Does it make sense? It doesn't, ne? However, I will also have a problem if MK Party does not have a succession plan in that they take the inexperienced people, bring the, the experienced people, group them together so they can wrap shoulders with the right people. So I will blame MK Party if they don't do that. They exclude all the inexperienced people and they bring only the experienced the experience people. That is going to be a problem because it doesn't have a succession plan. There must be a succession plan. So there must be a mixture of experienced people with inexperienced people. So just because they brought the likes of Abo Lake Montana, Abo Zwanele Mani, Abo Brian Milife, you know what I'm saying, into this fold, hey, those people are experienced. If I was in an MK party, look, in, a, in, in the MK party leadership structure, personally, I wouldn't have a problem. Why? Because from these people, you will be learning a lot. I will only have a problem if they are not teaching me anything. They are just sidelining me. Then I have a problem. I have a reason to complain because I'm being sidelined. I don't have experience. The ones who have, with experience, they are not... Uh, bringing me, they are not helping me to gain experience, and how am I going to get experience? It doesn't make sense. The danger with this theory is it is being used as a justification for they that were there for positions, for they that were, or that belongs to the Chablani Komalo side. They are using that to try and, and, and to try and create um, to try and disassociate Zuma with the majority of people or to try and create a revolt against Jacob Zuma. In fact, there was a, there was a video that I, want, I wanted to create. That video, uh, I saw something that said, the local, they said that there was a revolt against Jacob Zuma. In other words, there were people who came from within. What I've just told you, it leads to one thing and one thing only, and that is... You have the, they are trying by all means to send their spies in, in, in look inside MK party who will sound and who will speak and sound like them so they can create discontent among the followers. As they create the discontent among the followers, then the followers will then start, say, look, start asking questions such as, hi, why are you bringing uh, uh, these this people? These are your friends. I no, 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 you know. At this moment, if MK Party wants to succeed, and if MK Party does not want to be among the stats of political party that comes into the political arena, campaigns, elections, and then gone, they disappear. If they want to succeed, 
the experience is needed. EFF, it is where it is today because it re they, 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 they conducted a thorough research. They understood that mm -mm, others failed because they took experience for granted. So they, pro like, you look at the, the, that group, about the, the group of people that were there. You will notice that they brought, uh, they brought their A game. They brought Abu Andalim Kutam, Abu Mandisa Mashekho. Those are experienced people. Abu Shivambu, they've been there on the ANC. You know? So they brought people who understand politics, who have walked the path, understand. Because it's a different ball game to say to me, uh, here's an example. Everybody who has this smartphone, they think just because they have this thing, they can create videos like me. They don't have the experience that I have. They don't understand. Guys, this thing is not just about me creating videos. I understand what I'm doing, right? And so I'm trying to tell you that the experience I have taking this channel from, uh, the experience that I have when I, to, when I started posting on this YouTube channel, it was on the 22nd of December, 2023. It took me two days to get this channel monetized, right? It took me five months to get to 50,000 subscribers. Go and ask people, unless you are Ronaldo, who, who can broke record left, right, and center, but if you are just an unknown person, getting those numbers on YouTube is not pop and meat, right? But I manage that. Why? Because there's certain experience that I already have. Because remember that I was running a podcast before. It's not like I'm new into this thing. I, was, I had my channel called SA Infotainment Podcast. I understood even the words. I, when I started this channel, I understood why MK part. I understand things. You understand what I'm saying? I don't just do things. There are stories that I don't just do them, right? I, it, it, you know, there are things that I looked into a story and be like, okay, this one I can do it. This one I can't, right? Because maybe this one I don't affect. Maybe you know what? Maybe this one I'm not sure, right? I don't just do things. I know how it will come across to you. So I am I'm always thinking about you on the other side because I sh I'm not doing videos for myself. I'm doing videos for you. So to somebody that doesn't have the experience or doesn't understand, doesn't learn from a person like me who have walked the path, they will think, Ah, Bongs, you've got a phone, Moss. Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra the latest phone that uh, Samsung has offered, the top of the range, right? And I'm mentioning these things for intentional because if I have this phone, remember this phone, it can shoot at 8K, 8K, right? Remember this phone, eh, the qualities of this phone, they are above your iPhone 15 Pro Max. That's why I chose this phone over iPhone 15 Pro Max because the abilities in this phone, they beat iPhone big time. But that's because this phone has got all these things, the cameras that, and that doesn't, that doesn't make you a content creator. Having this best phone, right, doesn't make you a best content creator. It doesn't necessarily mean that you can start a content and be successful in starting a content. You still need the experience, the words you use, how you speak to people. You know, so I'm saying to say that is exactly the same thing applies to politics. It's even worse in politics. But at least at minimum level, you must understand that there's a certain experience that is required for you to run this or for you to, to to maintain or keep this political party afloat. The political party has broken record in that it is six months old, but it is already an official opposition party. That alone should tell you something. If you want to keep it running, if you want to keep it growing, then you need the experience. You can't run away from it. Simply to say, um, if I were to start a media company, there is a department that I can't run away from the fact that I need an experienced, uh, a person who knows, a experienced videographer. To get, what I'm, to get what I'm trying to say, I need a, a social media manager. I need to hire a social, you know what I'm saying? I need a, a researcher, somebody that's going to do this research for me. Those, those three departments, I know for a fact that they are very critical. And you can't just take a person who is your relative, who doesn't have a job, just because you've got this position and you say, ah, you are my relative or you are my friend. We, we come a long way. Therefore, I'm going to take you and place you here. No, that department, I will never do that. Why? Because for me to keep my media company afloat, I need to get those three departments right. I can then add 
the inexperienced people in between. But these three are main departments that you can't compromise on. What I'm trying to say is, how much more if you are running a political party like MK Party? It already have enemies, right? It is the enemy of uh, uh, the, the Stellenbosch Mafia. It is the enemy of the Oppenheimers. The, it is uh, the enemy of the media that doesn't love them, right? How are you going to operate? How are you going to keep it running with inexperienced people in the part or, or in the helm of the part? You're not going to... And I'm not, look, another thing that I'm trying to show you here is this simple thing, guys. Zuma is old, 82. At any given time, he can give up the ghost. Well, giving up the ghost means dying. So he can give up the ghost at any given time. He can die. He needs to have a succession plan. If like you don't want MK Party to be like e NFP. When Zanella Makwazam Sibi died, look, was sick. M look, NFP struggled a lot, right? You don't want to be UDM. You don't want to be the UDM. Uh, like there are many political part parties that have came and gone. Why? You must look at their leadership. You don't want to be a political party that is just satisfied with the numbers, the, the, the numbers that they made. No, you must have ambitions. Even if Jacob Zuma was to die today, if, the, if he has left a proper structure, the structure will carry up, will carry, will, will carry the, the, look, the MK party, even when Jacob Zuma is no more, he's dead. But you will see MK party rising, breaking records. That's how you think as a leader. You need to leave legacy. You, you, you don't want your legacy to die the moment when you are buried in the legacy. That's why you will then say, oh, he had a snake. You know, they will, they will, you will then create theories that says, um, when, the, when the party died, you saw what happened. Everything died. Like, in your hood, when we grew up, at least when we grew up, we were being told that, uh, you remember that, fam what one, uh, that one father who used to own trucks, buses, the day they died, um, things started falling apart one by one. Do you notice that all of them will always say, I... Uh, it's this thing that they are using. You know, most of these things, when the owner dies, it also dies because it, it, look, it is the owner who knows what they should do to keep the business afloat. Sometimes it's not even about that. Sometimes it is simply because there was no succession plan. You have a wife who is a stay-at-home mom, uh, children, they are just doing whatever they do. The day the, biz, the, day, the day the father dies, the business will die simply because there is no succession plan. And that's just simple, guys. But, Gabe, yeah, you're going to allow Uchablan Kumaru to confuse you, no. And their theories shouldn't be confused by those things. Do not allow yourself to, to be confused by those things. Do not. If you are a father who understands this succession plan, the least that you can do when you start a business, you bring your, your family along. Teach your, let's say the wife is committed somewhere. It's fine. But then bring the children along. Take them into the business. Make them understand the ins and outs of the business. The day you're sick, they know where to buy this product. They know where to find it cheap. They know how to negotiate. They know how to treat workers. They know how to keep the business afloat. They know how to, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they have... Not this thing of everything is you. You can't be the business. The business, ma that's why when you register a business, a business has got its own life. That's why it has got its own bank account. Then you've got your own personal bank account because business and you must always be separated. That when the day you die, the business can still continue. Even when you can be bankrupt, you can be fired from your own business. Just like Steve's job. So when you build a brand and, a, and, 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 and an organization such as MK Party, yes, it's good for it to be attached to Jacob Zuma, the brand. But build it to such an extent that when you, did, when you remove Jacob Zuma, the brand, the MK Party, the brand, can still continue. That's what Jacob Zuma is trying to do with MK Party. 
But again, the naysayers are saying, hey, yeah, 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 man, you need experience, guys. You need, you can't run away from that, right? You need experience. You cannot run a, an organization successfully without an experience. You can't. So bring, me and I will even go as far as saying, bring uh, to MK party because look at the, uh, look, the, where, the, the record for the man. It speaks for itself. The man has was able to to take SAPC and remove it from bailout, create a, or run a sustainable organization. Then from there, the man took SAPC to the greater heights that SAPC created money. But look at what happened when they remove Utlaud, saying that he's uneducated. Fair, he did not have a, a degree. Fair. But then people with degrees went and look, operated or got in charge of SAPC. SAPC has been a subject of conversation. Bailout, we, uh, year in, year out. Bailout, 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 bailout. So why don't you bring an individual with a good track record to the organization? Just because, hey, we were campaigning, we want to be there. No, you must think for the party, not for your stomach. That's the problem. You must think for, in fact, in fact, let me say this. I was going to stop this video here, but let me say this. It is very important for me to tell you this. What kills organizations is the love of position. And Jacob Zuma has been warning you about love of positions. It's the number one cause of death because people, you know, the fastest way to kill any organization is to bring people who are just there for a position. Have you ever... How best can I say this? Right now, look at all the ministers, right? When last did you hear anything from the Minister of Water in South Africa? Tell me something. When last did you hear anything from a Minister of Water? The last time I had a Minister of Water speaking, it was during their, in, look, their is it inauguration? Ah, it was, was what? Uh, when they were sewn in. That was the last time you heard something from the Minister of Water. But the country have water crisis, right? There are people who are drinking dirty water. Hamas crowd situation has not been solved. Where is the minister of water? It's quiet. The minister of police is sewn in. How many, how many times have you seen the visibility of the minister of police? Many times. The minister of sport. How many times have you seen the minister of sport, you know, the visibility they're on? Many times. Uh... I mean, we can name them, right? Why some of the ministers, the, the day they got sewn in, some of the problem is created by the love of position. People want to occupy positions, but they don't know what to do when they get there because they've arrived, according to themselves. They have, the, the, the bags are there. The blue lights are there. What happened after the blue light? Nothing. As long as, uh, 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 they, in, in fact, you have people most of the leaders, leaders that you have, is we've got people who are always fixated upon the idea of being right. Instead of doing the right thing, they want to be right. That's why, not long ago, guys, there was a, a department that brought billions to back to National Treasure saying we are fine. I, I forgot which department. Like, about three to four departments brought money back to the department. Why? Because they want to be right. You know, we, don't, we want a clean record. But people still need money, still need services. When you take money, you send it back to the treasury, you say, we are fine. When you bring wrong leaders who, are who wants to be right because they want to save their job by being right, not doing the right thing, then you'll have, then, you, then that becomes recipe number one to destroy the organization. But if you want to grow an organization, you want to bring leaders who want to make the right decision. Not, not that they want to please people by being right, but they want to make the right decision in whatever department they are serving in. And then they make the right decision. Right. That's why then you, you're looking at Abu, Abu, Abu Machela Koko, Abu Brian Malifa, where they go to ESCOM, they make the right decision. Not that they are trying to be right uh, with everybody. No, they just make the right decision in the organization and the organization grows and it stabilizes. You, you cloud Mutsuening, SAPC, he makes the right decisions, right? He's not there to try to be right because people who are trying to be right, they tend to be silent. Even when they're supposed to tell you that eh, this thing is nonsense, they will not tell you that it's nonsense because what? They are trying to be right. That's the problem. So you 
need to bring those leaders about Lucky Montana, what they what they've done at Escom. I mean sorry, Transnet. Like in terms of representing the Jacob Zuma Foundation. I mean, he's done an, a stellar job in terms of that uh, thing. The things that he used to do, the, being a spokesperson of the Jacob Zuma Foundation, how he used to do it, stellar job, great job, right? So you want to tell me, I, he didn't campaign for MK Party, therefore he must be, he, he must be excluded. Hey, handman, that's how you kill organizations. Because you are so fixated upon the idea of getting the position, getting the back, sitting there. Hey, right now, MK Party must not prioritize the positions, must prioritize uh, the first, the biggest problem MK Party is to at least uh, get good numbers come next elections, local elections. They are focusing there because that's how they want to keep this party growing. That's why they are, they are bringing unions in, they are creating their own unions. They are bringing experienced people who will help the organization. So if you love positions, then you see a problem with their the experiences, the experienced people that they are bringing in. But if you love the party and the and the ideas of the party, then when they bring the experience into the party, then you're like, oh, at least our party will stabilize and grow. And these people, the, ex the experienced people that they are bringing in, will not allow the party to go down because they know that this carries uh, aspirations of them. In fact, about Brian Mulifa, they already understand that, hi, maybe this is going to be my last time uh, being involved with such a great political party or great formation thing, so I might as well make it work. Yeah, if I, if, if I don't make this thing work, then what? What else? Where? Those are the things that we should be focusing on. It's like, you see, this thing, guys, of being married to certain people, right? I always listen to people talking about uh, them marrying people. They are, they are looking for, uh, I'm looking for somebody to marry. Uh, so he must do everything. I mean, I must just be the slave queen that does anything. Uh, the, my best, the best thing that I should do is just to be given car keys, uh, luxurious car keys. My responsibility is just go shopping. I, I always think to myself, why will you marry such a person? Because in life, it's about contribution. Uh, people must die serving their marriage than dying want to be, want somebody, wanting somebody to serve them. Then you're not married to the right person. You're married to a wrong person. You might as well go and go and take a prostitute on the street because there's no different. Like if this person is not contributing to your life positively or helping growing whatever thing that you are doing, then what's the point of having that person in your life? It's just nothing. If they are so fixated upon the idea of having money, driving luxurious cars, go shopping on a mid look uh, 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 on um, on midday, midweek, they just want to shop, shop nonstop, and you think you have a wife, then you have. You are wrong my friend such people end up cheating so you can't reason like these people if really really when you join the party with an intention of growing the party making it a force to rock and with if you want to make it a force to rock and with then the last thing you want to do is to criticize them when they bring the right people imagine criticizing a company for hiring a well experienced CEO that's going to keep the company afloat why will you criticize the company? Saying, oh, I'm here. Oh, yeah. But you don't have an experience of a CEO, right? That's the problem that's going to kill MK Party if they keep listening to everyone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The people campaign. Even if it was Jablan Kumar himself running the party, he will not place you in this position. He what makes you feel good by complaining and creating the idea, creating a dissatisfaction. But even if it was him, Having right people advising him around him, uh, uh, look, having people around him who are advising him correctly, he will not, he will not take inexperienced people, send them to parliament. What are you sending them to do? Unless you want to be like e e IFP, which is not growing. IFP, if you notice that IFP doesn't bother, they don't stand for, they, they are not aggressive. They always, and have you noticed that most decisions that are made by the ANC, they always agree with them. So if you want to be IFP, then you cannot grow exponentially. You must pivot like EFF, like DA, right? Like what MK Pad is doing right now. You must pivot, man. You must always stand for something. Therefore, bring leaders that will bring the experience aligned to what you stand for. Right? You can't be an army. Uh, you can't be Russia right now. 
go and take somebody who has never taken a gun just because he's, a, he's from Russia. No, you must be trained on how to, take, how to carry a gun, how to survive in the war. You can't just take anybody and everybody just because they are from Russia. No, 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 no. You don't do that. That's what I'm trying to, trying to warn you. Do not listen to this bullshit or this nonsense things because it's not going to save the organization. If you want the organization saved, then go get the experienced people, the right people, blended with the in inexperienced people. They're going to create something beautiful, something nice is going to come out. I'm just throwing out my two cents with the hope that they're going to listen. But some of them are so fixated upon the idea of position, so they will not listen to me. Oh, what am I going to say? Nothing. Well, I might as well say goodbye.